Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to be taking a look at the horse that my mom bought for her birthday. Uh, my mom's birthday has passed and she has bought the horse. So that's why I'm in the wash doll because I don't want to show you guys the horse quite yet. But yeah, um, this horse is still level 1 because I haven't trained up, trained up Mooney. So I want to do that before I train up this horse. But I just want to let you guys know that I did my best to try to let my mom take full control. Um, I tried to be like, oh, you know, you can play the game, but she didn't really want to. Um, because she was just like, oh, I don't know how. So I was just like, okay. Um, and then I let her try to choose the horse. And so she chose this one. Um, with like, I, I, she likes it so i i don't know it's just hard to kind of explain but yeah i tried to let her pick the name she didn't really know what to name it now this was a horse on my wish list i'll let you guys know that um before i show you and i had a name already picked out for it and she didn't know what to name it so i was like oh this horse is on my wish list but if you want it you can you know buy it and so when we got to choosing a name um she didn't know what to do choose for the name so i was just like well if i would have bought this horse i would have named it dash and so that's kind of where we got the name for the horse so the horse's name is dash and let me just show you guys, guys the horse now this is the horse this is dash he is a english thoroughbred he is the light bay and my mom likes him so yeah um she i kept the tack on him um of what i of what she chose so it was like this blue saddle pad with um a black bridle and a brown saddle jumping saddle i have the black boots on him and she didn't want to change his mane so i didn't change his mane but i really like this horse i was actually gonna get this horse and um myself um so yeah, I actually want to kind of show you guys this horse. I know I already have an English thoroughbred, so I don't need to do the gaze or anything. Um, and I already looked at them with her, but yeah, I want to show you guys the horse that I thought I my mom was going to get. So I thought she was going to get a Pasifino. Now, two times, she wanted two horses. <laughs> she wanted the black Pasifino um, because... But I already, like, my, okay, I just want to say that my rules for when, uh, like, I let someone buy a horse off my account, like, my parents, or I let my grandma do it once, so, yeah. But the rules are, um, it has to be Generation 3 horse, and, um, it, and it cannot be a horse that I already own. So, she could not buy this horse because I already own it. This is Legend and then this one is nick and she also wanted this horse now when i like showed her these horses she like wanted those two and i was like well i already own them and then we went to the star stable database that way we weren't traveling all over Jorvik, and for it to be time consuming and so we went there and then she was like oh i like the black pasifino you know like i like this horse and she didn't say the black pasifino but she liked the black pasifino and i was like i already own that horse and she was like oh so yeah but i knew that she was gonna like one of i knew she was gonna like them because she likes like bays and blacks but i was like i thought she was gonna get this horse but she said that she likes solid colored horses so she didn't um get that horse out of all the other horses i didn't think she was gonna get any of them um like she likes chestnuts sometimes so i was like she likes chestnuts sometimes so like she might get this horse but it's a flaxen chestnut and not like a red chestnut like Beezy. um so i was like she's probably not gonna get it and all the other coats um were probably a no <coughs> sorry i just sneezed Ooh. okay um yeah anyways yeah that was weird <laughs> anyways um yeah so she chose this horse his name is dash um 
I like him a lot. I've actually grown really fond of the English thoroughbreds after getting this horse. I know I already have Casey, but I got that horse because, like, I really... It looks like Casey in real life, you know? So, yeah. I also really like this horse a lot. And, like, I want to use him in my realistic role plays. And he would make a good eventer. Like, this... this jump i love this jump like i love it but i just feel like he would be a good eventer so that's what i'm gonna do um by the way guys i know i keep mentioning realistic role plays and i'm I, like i just can't fit i don't have time right now to try to do the editing software like i want to set time aside to do the editing software but i literally can't the next couple of weeks because um quick little talk moment here i literally can't because this weekend, um, I probably will post this, like, the weekend that I'm talking about. Um, I have, I have horseback riding every single day of the weekend, um, because I have a show coming up. So, on Friday, I have practice, on Saturday, I have practice, and on Sunday, I have practice, um, to practice for the show so i can't really film because that takes up most of my morning and then with when i got sick i don't even i'm still sick from that but yeah when i got sick i missed three days of school so like i i literally um i missed three days of school so i couldn't be at school so i missed work and so i have a lot of history stuff that i need to do and social studies stuff that I need to do, so, like, I need to get that done, so, in the, af so the mornings is horseback riding, and the afternoons is history, and so I can't really do, um, I don't really have much spare time, and so, like, any time that I will have is going to be for history, because I need to catch up on that, and so, once I get that done, then I can film videos, or I can try to work out things. Um, but otherwise, like, I can't do anything, like, you know. Um, but, yeah. So, realistic role plays right now, I know I said I would get them out before school started. I'm sorry it didn't happen, but things happen because it was on a, like, this, I wasn't expecting this, like, I never realized that editing would be hard. I don't edit my day-to-day -day videos, I guess you could say. I don't know what, why I said day-to-day. -day. Like, my regular videos, like this video, I don't edit. Because I don't need to edit it. But realistic role plays, you need to be editing it. So, I just haven't figured out how. And I have the little scenes. I have the voice recordings. Like, those were easy to film. It took me two days to do the scenes, and then it took me, like half an hour to do the voice recordings because I made a script and that took me like an hour so altogether the prep rating was like maybe two and a half hours and then the actual editing part I can't understand the software that I have it is used by Hollywood it is called DaVinci Resolve and I just can't figure it out my dad found a video online I just need to find time to sit down look at it and go through each step watch the video it's like half an hour long or something i just need to find time to do that but i can't this weekend and next weekend i have the show so yeah i have the show next weekend so like i can't do it next weekend so yeah i have the show on saturday but friday i need to go to where the show is being held to do a practice before I actually do my real show that way I know what to do I know where to go you know stuff like that and Sunday I don't really know how it's going to work I that day I might be able to do set some time aside but I might have to go back there I don't know so yeah and then the following weekends uh I might have a birthday party with my friends even though it's like been at that time it's been like over a week or something since my birthday but yeah i still want to hang out with friends and stuff and celebrate my birthday with them and like so i'm gonna have them over or something you know but that should only take up one day so hopefully i can try to figure out this editing thing by october maybe not i don't know but i have so many ideas circling around my head and i just wish i could do something i don't know what i could do i don't know can you guys help me 
this is kind of me asking for help right now, um, in a way of saying, can you please be understanding about my realistic role plays? Like, I'm so passionate about this. I love YouTube. It is amazing. Um, and I wish I could do realistic role plays so bad. Like, I just, oh my gosh, I see it coming right before my eyes. And I literally had an idea today while, um, I got back, like, from school, and I just, like, had an idea from, for a realistic role play, and I was just like, oh, I wish I could do this, but I can't, because I don't have editing software, so, yeah, um, so, yeah, that's it, I am also, like, trying to kind of, I already have started planning for the second video, but it's just, like, not happening, and I just, I want to do this so bad, but, I hope you guys can understand what I'm going through right now, where I want to do it really bad, and but I just can't figure out how. So I'm going to set, set aside some time as soon as I possibly can to sit down, get the editing software open, and try to figure out what to do with it. You know, I also need to get used to the voice that I hear on, <clears throat> on camera, because, you know, each human voice is different and when you hear it yourself it sounds different from when something's recording or when someone else hears you so like you guys will be hearing my voice and it sounds like how other people hear my voice in real life but it doesn't sound like how I may how I hear myself so it sounds really weird and I get kind of embarrassed because it's just like not it doesn't sound like me but it's like I said those words out of my mouth so it has to be me and also I just I get kind of embarrassed when I rewatch things that I do, um, you know, whether it, like, if I'm talking, then I get embarrassed, like, when I see a video when I'm writing, I'm fine, you know, but, like, other things, it's like that, so I gotta get used to that, too, but I'm trying my best, this turned into showing you guys my mom's horse video into talking about realistic role plays once again, so, I'm sorry, this has kind of been rambling, but yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed Dash. Um, I probably will be doing some training times with him. Maybe I'll tell you guys how the show went. Um, I don't know if I should say where it is, but yeah, you know, it was, it's a different place where my when my first show was, so I'll just say that, you know, um... But yeah, it's a big thing for me. I'm also writing Venny for it, so <laughs> I'm excited. But yeah, I'll tell you how it went. Um, I'll even tell you how it went if I got, if I didn't place or whatever. I don't know how that kind of works. So yeah, but um, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye!